the Muppets aren't cynical, they're very honest and they're very open and they're kind of, you know, they have a lot of heart, which is important, I think. And uh, um, Again, going back to my idea about comedy these days, I think comedy has come round to a place where comedy is about warmth and heart rather than about meanness and cynicism. And I think Muppets are the absolute best example you could possibly give about warm-hearted humour, which is also stupid and surreal at the same time. It's a hard guy to find. People haven't seen him for a few years. Where's he been? What's he been doing? And they eventually do track him down to Bel Air. He's kind of living in this slight Miss Havisham esque life. You know, he's kind of a Sunset Boulevard style, whereby he is kind of, you know, he's carrying on doing his own thing, but he's not really performing anymore. And so he has to be persuaded to, you know, put on one final show to raise the money in order to buy the studio back so they can save their precious theatre. Amy plays a character called Mary. Mary is uh, Gary's uh, girlfriend and long-term girlfriend and long-suffering girlfriend because uh, Gary, as lovely as he is, is quite oblivious of how relationships should work and how grown-ups relate to each other. Uh, and Amy brings a fantastic sense of innocence to that, that she would be the only person you'd believe who would actually go out with this guy because only she can see the great guy within him. Chris plays a character called Tex Richmond, uh, who plays our villain, really. Um, but I was very keen that, you know, Chris is a fantastic actor, you know, he's an Oscar winner, etc. And so he brings a great level of weight and sort of gravitas to a role. And I really wanted to have the villain in this movie be a genuine threat to the Muppets. He kind of represents the current world, you know, cynical world. Money's important to him. He doesn't believe in the values that Muppets kind of believe in. And it's a great clash of cultures in a way. And so I wanted Chris to bring that. And yet at the same time have fun with it, you know what I mean? Because it's a Muppet movie, so it can't be too... So it's, it's a difficult balance and he really brings it off. Well, obviously, Muppet Music has a great tradition of, you know, fantastic work from Paul Williams onwards, basically. And, and for this movie, because it was tonally going to be similar to the 70s versions, I wanted to have a similar singer-songwriter feel to it uh, uh, and not skew that far away from those sounds.